Alright friends, today we are going to draw a baby axolotl. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun and we hope you're going to follow along with us. You ready to start? Yeah! <laughs> We've drawn an axolotl before, but this time we're drawing a baby version. And we're also using our markers, but our art friends can use whatever they feel comfortable drawing with, like a pencil or even crayons. Let's first start by drawing our baby's mouth. We're going to start by drawing a little smile right in the middle of our paper. Yes, and then we're going to draw a big <laughs> circle for one eye and a big circle for the other eye, too. Oh, yours is huge. I love it. Then we're going to draw smaller circles in the top left of each eye. This makes the eyes look shiny. There you go. And then we're going to color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. And this part will speed up. So what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, for more time. Now we're going to draw the head and we're going to draw the chin first. We're going to draw it right here. We're going to draw it coming underneath and then we're going to draw it coming back up for the other cheek on the side. <laughs> I love that you're left-handed and you start the opposite direction. It's such a good idea. So I drew from the left side over to the right side, but because you're drawing with the others, it's almost like a mirror. You're starting with the right side and drawing to the left. It's awesome. Good job. You just do that naturally. Okay, now let's draw the top of our axolotl's head, baby head. We're gonna draw a big upside down. Yes, good job. Okay, now we need to draw the little squiggly things on the, on the head. I think these are its gills. It's what yeah. it uses to breathe underwater. Let's start by drawing a squiggly thing right here. I'm gonna draw a wiggly that comes out, kind of an S curve. And then we're gonna draw it coming back in. Let's match that same thing on the other side too. And then we're gonna draw a squiggly and back in. And then let's add a bunch of these. So I'm gonna go a little faster because we're just repeating the same step. Oh, I, look, I added little bumps on it too. I'm gonna do the same thing. Wow, you're going fast. How many are you gonna draw? Yeah, this is gonna be my last one. You're gonna draw three on each side? Maybe I'll draw four. But our friends can, they can change it. And don't worry about trying to make your drawing look exactly like ours, right? They can change any part of the drawing if they want. And they don't have to make these squigglies look exactly the same. Oh, I'm going to add just one more smaller one right here on the bottom. <laughs> now it definitely looks like an axolotl. Okay, yeah. now we're going to draw the body and also the legs. Let's start right here. We're going to draw a little leg that comes down. And then we're going to draw it coming back up. Kind of looks like we're going to draw the letter or number six. Yeah. Almost. Oh, I like that you're drawing it over there. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that looks like it's holding its arms up now. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to draw the same thing over here, but watch me. I'm going to draw it going. We're just going to draw a letter U. We're not going to draw it all the way up and connect. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, awesome. Then let's draw the belly line in between the two arms. Yes, and then we can draw another little belly line right here. And I'm imagining this line going through. So you can imagine it coming out and then right here and then come to there. Yeah, okay, now let's draw the back leg and we're gonna draw it coming around. We're gonna draw another U shape and then this one is connecting into the body. So yes, you've got it. And then you could also draw a little line that just comes up there. Perfect. We did it. Oh, we're missing something. What's on the back? A tail. Yeah, a tail. Let's draw the tail right here. We're going to draw it curving up. And then we're going to curve kind of into this ear thing. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. We finished drawing our axolotl, except we still need to color it. Yeah, my favorite. This part we will speed up. So remember to pause the video if you need extra time. And we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our baby axolotls and they turned out so cute. I really love your fish and the little extra bubbles. Oh, and the eyelashes. Thank you. I like yours too. <laughs> Thank you. Now our friends can pause the video to take that extra time to finish coloring their drawings. You can match ours or change the colors completely. It can also add a background. Yeah, even more things in the background would really complete your drawing. We hope you have fun drawing a baby axolotl. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.